from Caleb Ministries. A good Friday morning, 21st of October. A personal teacher. 1 Corinthians 2, I read verse 13. This is what we speak, not in words taught by the human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit. In many homes, the television is on more than six hours a day. Stats have shown that even in faithful church-attending families, we will have watched hours of TV by the time we were 18. By contrast, we will probably have been in church less than 3,000 hours. The stats don't change much for Christian adults who by some accounts are saturated in media five times more than in Bible study, prayers, and fellowship. The subtle voices of the world have ample time in drowning out the voice of the Spirit. We're in a spiritual war. That's what it is. Trying to keep a straight path through a vast array of deceptions. If we're having trouble doing so, we may want to look at the teachers we expose ourselves to. Like healthy plants, we tend to grow towards the closest light. We need to, to be careful which light shines on us most directly, or else it's harder to be nourished by the Spirit. The Spirit is more than willing to teach us the words of God Himself, he is available with guidance, revelation, comfort, and support. But if we are tuning in to other frequencies, we won't hear him very easily. So, if we want to enjoy the awesome privilege of being taught by God, we must actually allow ourselves to be taught by him. And only when we take time to cultivate that communication, if we want God to speak, we need to have ears to hear. The result of a hearing ear is a mouth that can speak the words of the Spirit. Like Paul, we can minister in truth if we are fed by it. Our door to the divine secrets is right in front of us. The only condition is our willingness to open it. I pray, Lord, please give me the strength to open the door to your communication. For I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.